you all for coming out for the opening reception for two great new shows. We have our Bloom exhibition, okay, and our eclectic images from an eclectic artist, Jan Folk. Where are you? Everything on this wall and this wall here is all Jan's work. So if you'd like to, um, Jan would love to talk to you about her work. <laughs> Come see Jan. Um, and both shows run through July 8th. And through July 8th, you can also vote for your favorite piece and send people in to vote for their favorite pieces. Um, voting ballots are right there. The winner will, of the People's Choice vote will be exhibited in the front window. So for the next show cycle, um, our winner from the Beyond the Lens exhibition was Carolyn Schleter with Go Ahead and Make My Day piece. It's in the front window. <laughs> so, And if you haven't voted tonight, vote. Thank you to Don for the wonderful live music tonight. And I get bonus for the autographer If you don't know Don's my honey, one of these days we'll get married. <laughs> one of these. <laughs> and, and. <laughs> we were going to get married in October of 2020. That's what everybody says when I die. Um, anyway, two years went by and we're like, you know, we're just like, oh, I feel married. Feel married? <laughs> I love you, babe. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, we are very honored to have our juror with us here tonight, Jody Williams. Jody did a great job during the exhibition. Looks wonderful. Thank you, Yeah. Oh, yeah. Jody is the executive director for the American Society of Tango Artists, an organization with 2,000 members in 40 countries. If you'd like to learn more, you can go to asba-art.org. Had to get a plug in. Yeah. <laughs> and she also has her studio featuring her botanical art and photography over at the Foundry Art Center. So you can visit Jody in studio. Any time over the well, not any time during boundary student hours. foundry hours, um, and you can always see more of Jody's work at botanicalbynature.com. Mm -hmm. um, and before we get to awards, I do have a couple little notes. Um, but huge thanks for Jody. <laughs> Yeah, I, every everybody, every juror that comes to a reception goes, oh, they're all going to throw like stuff at me. <laughs> and I found that artists are really nice to jurors, you know, because given the opportunity in person, you know, you want that critique, you know, so at least I do. So. Um, I did dedicate Bloom to um, Ron Edwards. I don't know if any of you guys had the lovely opportunity to meet Ron. Ron was a resident artist here for over a decade. I've known Ron since before that. I probably knew him since God, like 1990. Like he was, uh, I used to work in the photo finish industry and as a photographer, he was one of my customers there. So like, he was a great guy. Like, so funny. Like he would always wear these stupid shirts. Like I dress for, people dress for success. I dress for recess, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Sweetest guy, born on Valentine's Day. Great photographer. He would call me almost every night before the store closed and be like, "Hey, how are you doing?" Yeah, <laughs> just to say hi. Not, "Hey, what did my art sell?" Not just like, "Hey, how are you doing?" You know, anything I, you know, it, it was just a really sweet, nice person. Taught in the elementary schools for PE for forty some odd years. And if you ever had the chance, and the pleasure to meet Ron. He always made you feel like he was part of the family. Always encouraging kids to get out, do things, be creative. There's a great video on our YouTube channel where um, we had a, his last featured show here. We did it like an almost hour long video. Had one of his students come out and like to see his show, and she, you know, talked about her time in school and how much he had influenced her in his life. And anyway, so Bloom is dedicated to Ron. One of his pieces is on the wall over there. A little bio and some a couple photos. Yeah. We'll miss them and why these days we'll all see each other again. Every one of these pieces um, will have a video that accompanies it that will be released over the course of the show. So one every day or two will come out. So you can hear the artists talk about their work. So yeah, is that awesome? That's awesome. And that's from a customer, not an artist. 
Okay, so like they like that, so don't give me grief when I ask you guys to videotape, okay? <laughs> it's helping promote your work and your work out there, okay? So it's on our YouTube channel, it's on our Facebook page, it's on Instagram. You're gonna be famous. <laughs> well, maybe not famous, but maybe if you all share it and you know and spread it around, it could go viral. Um, so uh, without further ado, you ready to do awards? I think so. You got you ready to hear awards? Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm so, gonna set this down. Before, before she announces any of them, I would like to say what a joy it was to jury this show. Just, I love to look at art, and it was so much fun to look at all the artwork that was submitted, and particularly these pieces um, in the exhibition tonight. And you can see, looking at the wall, how, how beautiful it is, how varied it is. I was very impressed with the variety of of uh, media and styles and just such a pleasure to jury and uh, you know I know that it's uh, somewhat subjective there's always that gut level uh, intuitive instinctive draw to certain pieces but then I also like to consider the more objective uh, you know basics the composition and handling of the media and uh, originality and just the aesthetic beauty of, of the piece. So I did my best and congratulations to all of you who have worked in the show. Congratulations to everyone who entered and isn't represented this time. Enter again. Um, always enter exhibitions. It's, uh, you know, it's just such a great experience and um, from both sides. So uh, thank you for giving me the opportunity to participate. Lovely. So our first honorable mention goes to Night Blooming Serious by Beth Goyer. And Beth Goyer cannot be here tonight. She called me and said she is sick. And she didn't want to expose everyone to her sickness. <laughs> So this so. was a, a photography piece, and it really, you know, struck me as uh, just what photography is about. You know, the, the, the contrast and the, the focal point and the uh, composition of it, uh, to me, was really striking. And our next honorable mention goes to... Tulips by Karen Bruns. Is Karen time. here tonight? I don't think I've seen Karen Brun. It's a piece right here with tulips and the acrylic. Yeah. The bright colors and the brushwork and the, like at first I thought it was a pastel and then we had to look it up and it was a, a acrylic, but the brushwork in it I found uh, interesting as well as the obvious uh, color uh, treatment. Now I have seen this artist here tonight. Okay, Uphill Climber by Janine Helton. All right, there you go. Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, this is a, you know, again, a beautiful piece. It generally shows the, the nature of the plant as it, as it grows and, and the contrast between the uh, sunlit flowers and the shadows in the background. Being Roses by Karen Hensley. This is mine. Uh, congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Yes, I kept coming back to this one. It really jumped off the wall for me. And uh, it was one of those where you can admire it from afar and then you want to take a close look and see what's really going on there. <laughs> Marvelous Mandeville's Jan Folk. The Marvelous Mandeville's is right here. So, again, a very lovely composition. And I, I like the blues and the leaves down at the bottom. I thought that really gave uh, a lot of character. And 
with the dark background showing the contrasts of the, the flower. So really a striking piece. Thank you. And our next honorable mention goes to Blue Hydrangea Six, Shirley Nan. Oh, I'm trying to try. No, Studios, RHD, Ayana, Krista, Marge, and Mark. Everyone. So this is this piece here. And again, I just thought it had so much. Um, again, one of those that jumped out at me. Because I figured they'd want to uh, have it. I it across the wall. And just, uh, you know, even the, 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 the way the composition flows with the dark flowers and bringing me back around. And it just had charm and vitality in it that uh, really struck me. Okay. Third place goes to Hyacinth Feeds My Soul by Joyce Yarborough. Mm -hmm. Exquisite um, talent that it must take to do such fine paperwork. I really was drawn to the flowing. Again, a lot of things come back to composition, and uh, although it looks very symmetric, it really isn't. And the, the uh, roots at the base of the bowl really uh, give it uh, you know, weight at the bottom. So, anyway, I just found it really, really captivating. And second place goes to second place goes to the Midnight Garden, Judy Smith. greens and, and uh, tints to the to the stems and to the grasses at, uh, at the base and it's just layers and layers of uh, almost like ribbons uh, creating the flowers. Okay, well first place goes to Tulips in the Rain, Linda Green Metzler.
talk to Jan about her show, her beautiful show up here. And if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, Facebook channel, and Instagram, do so. Click the notification bell and do all that fun stuff. Like the videos, it helps the algorithm, it helps spread your videos out. And uh, enjoy, enjoy smart, see smart, do smart.